Hello people, how are you doing? If you are new here, this is Dr. JT, Gentleman Medicine President and a part time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JT. It's been really a very long time that I have done a video for MBA students. Uh, and to be particular, it's been really very long time that I have made a study plan video. So today, in view of exams for final year MBA students, I have come with a sophisticated and a fantastic study plan. But before we could get into that, I have something to unbox for you and that is the final year MBA study materials. Yes, as many of you know that we have launched study materials for final year MBA students for their exam preparation and those books are here in the box. So I will show you all the books that are inside and what are the freebies that we are giving in this box and also I will show you how the books look inside. So are you ready for the unboxing? Not it, I have something very interesting for you. What is this? I will tell you later. This would be really interesting. Let me put that aside. Okay, and the next thing, as I said, these are the freebies, and I'll be talking to you about them. What are these? The first thing uh, I'll show you. The bookmarks that we are going to give, these are the five beautiful bookmarks that we are going to give. And also there is something that is very, 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 very crucial and very, very, very important that is the study planner. We are giving you the study planner on how to complete the syllabus within a stipulated time, whether you have 40 days or 50 days or 60 days for your exams. But this study planner will help all sector students with how you can study on day to day, how many hours you need to study, which subject you need to study in a week and how you need to sort out. The study planner is detailed in this particular paper and we'll be printing it and we'll be giving it along with this hard copies. So these were all the books that we have designed for you and we have put a lot of efforts to make your preparation easy and we are running an inaugural offer which have started from November 5th and running till 20th November so go get them and we also have a special offer if you are a group of friends yes if you are a group of 3 friends we have 3 years offer and if you are a group of 5 friends then we have bunch of us offer and you could get the books as low as 3000 of all this bundled together so you can get the books and order them and get these hard copies through our website www.drjdm.com and the link is provided in the description and now it's in the first comment go order your hot copies and start the preparation right away so that's all about the books and now what about the plan okay now you are going to look into the triple phased preparation yes a well-planned three phases of preparation with a day-to-day -day planning let's look into it this plan consists of three phases of which the first phase is slow paced second phase is highly intense whereas third phase is moderate phase let's look into the first phase in the first phase you'll be completing 25 percent of the syllabus in just 14 days let's see how you can do that i'm dividing these 14 days into three divisions five four and five in the first five days you'll be studying obstetrics and pediatrics in the second four days you'll be studying medicine and orthopedics in the third five days you'll be studying surgery and gynecology so for each day you'll be studying two subjects in five four five day sets no no you don't need to write anything or take screenshots because i have made all this into a pdf and link to download that pdf is given below in the description go get it and next how you are going to study two subjects in a single day actually change the situation of your preparation now before that let me tell you something very important if you think this plan is for uh, the toppers or this plan is for fast learners then definitely you are wrong in my opinion there are no toppers everyone are equally capable of giving their best so even though you are an average student or a slow learner this plan will definitely work so in the first five days you will be studying obstetrics and pediatrics but now planning the each day is also very very important each day should consist of at least three sessions that is morning session afternoon session and evening session and each session should consist of at least two hours of study time with two 15 minutes break meanwhile so how do you plan these sessions 
In the morning session, you will be studying the essay topics of obstetrics. In the afternoon session, you will be studying the pediatrics short answers. Whereas in the evening session, you will be studying both obstetrics and pediatrics very short answers. From the second day, you will be interchanging the subjects. That is, in the morning session, you will be doing pediatrics essay topics. Whereas in the afternoon session, you will be doing obstetrics the short answers. Whereas in the evening session, it is the same. You will be doing both obstetrics and pediatrics very short answers. Continue this pattern for the next 5 days and also follow the same pattern for the next 4 days and also 5 day sets where you will be studying medicine orthopedics and surgery gynecology. But why did I follow this type of pattern? Because in the morning you will have lot of concentration and you will have lot of enthusiasm to study. That is why I have placed essays in the first so it takes lot of time and you need to concentrate more. But in the evening or in the night your energies will be low. Huh? Energy will be low only when you want to study. But if you want to enjoy with your friends, you'll have a lot of energy in the night itself. But anyway, this is the most comprehensive way of studying and this is how you tackle the anxiety and fear of your final exams. And now let's enter into second phase which is very intense and high voltage phase. Because the amount of work you do will increase. The amount of study hours you take will increase. Because this is the time you get into the groove and you will have more enthusiasm to study and you wanted to learn more because the days are passing by. But in this phase you will feel all the heat and it's okay to have stress and you need to hold on to it. Because we need to have all the calm in the phase 3 that is why we need to work hard in this phase 2 and let's get into it. This phase will have 21 days. Let's divide this 21 days into 3 parts that is 7 days, 7 days and 7 days. In the first 7 days you will be studying medicine and peds. In the second 7 days you will be studying surgery and orthopedics. In the third 7 days you will be studying obstetrics and gynecology. Now let's take first 7 days and see how we can plan. Each day should have at least 3 sessions and each session should have 3 hours of study time with 2-15 minutes break in between. So in the first morning session study medicine essay topics and 1 hour of very short answers. And in the afternoon session study essay topics of pediatrics and also 1 hour of very short answers. In the evening session you have to study at least 3 short answers from medicine and 3 short answers from pediatrics. Follow the same pattern for the next 2 parts of the 7 days that is for the surgery, orthopedics and also obstetrics and gynecology. If you follow this phase strictly then definitely you will be able to complete 70% of the portion and almost all the important topics. This is how you gain confidence to write the exam. And now let's move on to the last phase that is the 14 days phase 3. Now you are very much near to the exam and you want to study more. And also in this phase you will know exactly on what topics you need to concentrate and also exactly what topics are left. And now you need to sort all the topics that you have done in the first phase and also in the second phase and you need to know what are the topics that you need to cover in the third phase that's how you know how much effort you need to put in the third phase. Now let's plan the third phase of 14 days. I'll be dividing this 14 days into three parts that is five, four and five. In the first five days you will be doing surgery and pediatrics. In the second four days you will be doing gynecology and orthopedics. In the third five days you will be doing medicine and obstetrics. So how we can plan each day of all these three, three sets. So let's take the first five days. In the first five days you will be doing gynecology and pediatrics. Let's plan each day. Each day should contain at least three sessions and each session should have at least three hours of study time with two 15 minutes break in between. So in the morning session you need to study surgery shorts and very short answers. In the afternoon session you need to study pediatrics essays. In the night session or evening session you need to study again surgery shorts and very shorts. This is for the first day and the second day we interchange the subjects that is how. In the first morning session you will be doing pediatrics shorts and very short answers. Whereas in the afternoon you will be doing surgery essay topics. Whereas in the evening session you will be doing pediatrics shorts and very short answers. Follow the same pattern for all the 5 days and also for the next 2 sets of 4 days and 5 days for gynecology orthopedics and medicine and obstetrics. Everything is fine, the plan is good. But why is all this mixing up of essays and shorts, shorts and very shorts, very shorts and essays? Just once look back and see if you do this plan you will complete the syllabus without even knowing that you have completed. That is what you need, a stress free preparation. 
you shouldn't take all the things into your mind thinking about huge syllabus thinking about nearing exam dates this is my way of planning the preparation ease of learning executing the perfect plan and reaching the target with no fear and now two very important things what are the books to study and what are the questions list that you need to study okay many of you might be studying all the textbooks since the beginning so you continue studying the same textbooks but one thing very importantly you need to understand is whenever you are studying a topic you need to know the limit of studying that particular topic and you need to know the same thing how much limit you need to write that topic in the answer sheet and what are the important points that you need to mention in the answer sheet so you could get good marks and you need to know how well you need to present the answers on the answer sheet to get a good impression for the examiner for that reason we have collaboratively made a hand written study materials for all the final year students and these study materials are available for you to study right away because we have made them in such a way to make the concepts clear and make your preparation easy so all these five subjects are color coded and also color highlighting the important points and we also place the important points in the box so that you can revise them quickly when you go to the exam and we also mentioned everything in point wise and also explain the concepts in flow charts and there are also image representation for your better understanding we have put in lot of efforts in this material for making your preparation very easy so do not miss this jtm study materials you can get all these hard copies to your home delivered to any state in india and you can order them on our site www.drjtm.com and now comes what are the list of the questions that you need to study for the exam do not worry we have made a list of important questions from all the universities from most of the parts of india and that questions pdf link is present on our website yes you go to www.drjtm.com and there you can see jtm exam hall where you can download all the final year subjects important questions list go visit our site and download the questions and start the preparation and most of the questions that are listed on our site are there in our jtm study materials so effectively use our study materials and complete the portion and if you execute this plan exactly as said you will have ample amount of making another revision with this study materials so study well plan well and do well and my final point to every one of you is that do not study just to pass the exam do not study for grades that is first class distinction or gold medals do not study just to clear mbbs do not just study start learning things either conceptual or memory based and gain grip on the topics how well you study from now really matters because for your batch next exam is inevitable so start studying conceptual and be more attentive in the preparation and now what are you waiting for i have given you the list of important questions to study and a well structured study plan and also jtm study materials for final years and the whole preparation package for final year is right in front of you the only thing you need to do is just press that preparation button and it will initiate only initiation is needed and everything next goes according to the flow and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends if you loved it and also let me know what are all your opinions in the comment box and i'll be back with another great video until then bye see you again